Um, Yorion the Sky Knight, but I guess Yorion, let's keep this hand. Yorion is like often Utopia Sprawl decks. Yeah, I like the Persist Control deck. I'm, I'm pretty excited for that one. I'm excited for all of those. Here's a living reason why I'm wasting time. We're time enjoyed is not time wasted. Why are donut decks to spin it? Because I want to spend a lot of time brewing in Modern Horizons 2. And uh, I just want to focus on my own brews for a week or two. Alright, can wildfire that next turn if we want to. Maybe maybe you can wait a turn. We'll see. How many Merfolk variants have brewed for Horizons? I can't I couldn't uh, you know, hijack Nikachu's parade. There's no way. So we only have like three. Is that Voidwalker card nuts? I don't know. It just dies to push and bolts for no value. Um unlike most games, so I don't think it's going to be too good, but it'll be it'll be fine. Let's wildfire since we can to fairy mana leak next turn. One day I'll accidentally click concede <laughs> when I'm doing this bit. Kind of surprised it hasn't happened yet, to be honest. So do I hold up Mana Leak or do I bolt and pass this turn? I think I'm just going to bolt the Wisp. I'm going to bolt it now to play around Ephemerate. How many decks have I created with the Evoke Cycle? A, f a bunch. Uh, I've got, I posted one list on Twitter that has subtlety in it, and then I have, uh, I have like a Banta Ephemerate list that I'll probably post later today, um, Banta Ephemerate Control, and then I've got like a bunch of Imper Imperial Recruiter decks too, um, I've got a bunch. We have not seen the Red Evoke creature yet. That one's pretty up in the air. Do you think a Bant Shardless Stoneforge deck could be good? It could be. Like, I, I've, I've like, I haven't completely finished like my draft of that deck yet. But I'm thinking if you play, if you play a Bant Shardless Agent Stoneforge Mystic deck, what you do is you don't play any two mana counter spells, of course, because you're a um. Shardless Agent deck, but you play Force of Negation and Subtlety as your counter spells, and Subtlety holds a sword pretty well. Um, so I, I've been I've been working on it. Yeah. Um, I'm not I, I'm not sure that it's going to be good, but I also know people are going to want me to try it. You think the Red Evoke is a Faithless Suiting? If if the Red Evoke is a Faithless Suiting, it's going to get banned. Like that card, like a Red Evoke, a creature. A red evoke creature that ETBs faithful suiting breaks hollow one in Vengevine. It just like actually breaks it in half, especially with the especially with the red root walla. It's like it it is actually broken if it faithful suitings. Would draw two discard three be fine? Uh, it might be better. <laughs> it wouldn't be better, but uh, probably not fine. No. I don't know. Maybe. Probably not. It, it, it would immediately be the best card in modern. <laughs> in, uh, any, if you just immediately print the, a card that's just right away the best card, you've made a mistake. 
Yeah, it would be insane in Dredge. It would be like who care like who, does Dredge does not care about pitching a card. Dredge does not care about a pitching a card to get a zero mana faithless looting. Please tell you Grixis control is saved after image two. Uh usually I only say things like that for the redemption of a, a spicy tech, but I don't know, the new Planeswalker is okay. Maybe. Why, why don't you go ahead and get your hopes up, get your hopes up real, real high, and then we'll figure it out. But make sure the, the step one is just going to be to get your hopes really, really up. Maybe buy foil fetches in Grixis colors. Get your hopes way up there. Get your hopes way, 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 way up there. Uh, then we'll figure it out. Tails been pretty good against Yorion. I think I want the Stoneforge package. Helixes seem kind of eh to me in this matchup. Do something like this. What could the red effect even be without being busted? I mean, I'm sure they can figure something out. I mean, I, honestly, I feel like the green one's going to be, like, the worst one of the cycle, no matter what the red one is. Like, I just can't imagine ever playing that card over other graveyard hate. And I, like, I also can't imagine main decking it in any deck. So just, like, when am I going to play this card? Never, probably. Slipping lame like Shatter, yeah. I mean, th there's like no way, right? Because they already printed a zero mana Shatter. They already, yeah, they already printed a zero mana Shatter, so I, I don't really think that they're going to do that, but you never know. That, that one only works if your opponent controls an island. Tino, thank you for your 14, uh, 14 months. Long time, buddy. Welcome back. <laughs> boil yeah there you go the green one is good in the living in mirror okay that's true yeah that living in might play it so i think submerge would be too good in modern maybe that'd be fine i don't know Can run it in mono green budget stompy. Low key, I want to build mono green budget stompy for F and M, like to give to somebody. Sylvan Anthem is a really really cool card. I actually think Sylvan Anthem is probably good in elves. Like, obviously buffing all your elves is really nice. The Scry is kind of crazy on that effect, uh, as well. And and it's also true that uh, the Scry works really really well if you have Realm Walker in play just to smooth out your draws and like kind of combo off a bit. Um. It's also true, though, that the elves list is, like, already pretty tight, you know? Like, the elves deck list is has gotten a lot of buffs, so it's going to maybe hard to fit Sylvan Anthem in it, but maybe it's, like, a cyborg card? What are the plans for this deck after Image 2 release? Well, uh, you want to play um, Prismatic Ending? Prismatic End? Um... I think uh, the the converge exile spell, and you want to play. I think a bunch of mystic gates to try to be able to play counter spells, but I'm not sure that that works necessarily. We'll see. Does modern elves play Corian Ranger? Probably some copies. Probably not the full playset. Flash and Threaten. Hmm. Interesting. Probably a fine idea, Doom. Mm. No thanks. I want my Brainstorm. Two Ephemerates.
Dude, so many caverns today. I should have realized you're playing as Dr. Queller. Ooh. Although this does get, you know, selfless spirited and uh, spell quellered. Doesn't get wandered. ETB, <laughs> create a copy of Blood Moon. Yeah. I mean, we're, we're going to see the card in the next couple days. We're going to see the card in the next couple days. Okay, what are the odds my opponent doesn't have a uh, selfless spirit or queller? Non-zero, you know. Ooh, a Randy Bueller. I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, wildfire this turn. The next turn we can maybe like bait something with the helix, like a you know, spirit queller and then try to resolve verdict. Do you have to draw a land? When is preview season over? Tomorrow. And then the set is live. It's It says Friday, but it's also really weird for sets to release on Friday. So we'll see if like it actually is Wednesday. Like, is, does anybody know? Is there downtime scheduled for, when, for Wednesday like there usually is? Does anybody know? You have a Maya Elder Spoiled? Probably won't be a... Uh, card that's impactful at all when are the cards legal and modern uh friday at least i'm, I'm magic online friday I, I, who knows about paper not me all right let's let's draw a land please clothis i want to land so badly you don't you have no idea how badly i want this land she knew how badly i wanted it No, there was, there was no way they would ever print Wild Growth. Yeah, there's no chance Wild Growth was coming. June 3rd is the day it's online, which is Thursday. Okay. So maybe I'm taking Wednesday off. And then going hard. Let's, we'll see what happens. I, I probably just need to Verdict here, right? Obviously, we'd be in like a million times better shape if we had uh, drawn the land last turn. I think they have another captain in their hand, the way they just like tapped mana and then untapped. Oh. That's pretty good. Australian Grove to give your mana dark shroud is big game. Yeah, but that means like you're casting Grove on two and then your mana leak on three, your, mana, your Grove on three. I think Entrenchers might be fine, but my biggest problem with the deck is that it, it's, it seems like it just has such an abysmal Tron matchup, you know? Like actually abysmal. Um, and I uh, just like, you know, what are you gonna do? Look at ball therapy break modern. It'd be like really, really good. But it might be fine. Like maybe it dedicates a thousand cyborg cards for Tron, and it it might be a playable deck. It's just not, it's just, it's also just not really a deck I'm working on yet. I can't work on everything. Uh, maybe I'll put an Enchantress list together, but I doubt I'll be playing Enchantress in like the first week. I'll leave that to other people. Will Storm play Profane Tutor? I, I doubt it. I don't think that card's very good, just barely. You kind of have to be an As Foretold deck for that card to be good. Are we stabilizing? Seems like it. I'm gonna jam Jace. Like, they would have had to have just drawn Queller. Hmm. I'm getting a scam call, but. Oh, wait, no, that was actually on loud. <laughs> Dang it, every day, just every stream. I forget to silence my phone. Well, they did draw a three drop? What? What three drop? A Skyclave? Oh. 
Why wouldn't they Skyclave the Snapcaster and attack? Last turn. So dead to a Lord. I really thought they had nothing. Kind of a hard choice for them though. Do they want to kill Jace or do they want to uh, put me to one if they don't have the Lord? They try to put me to one. I mean, they seems like they successfully do so, of course. <sighs> Selfless Spirit. Okay, that card's going to be tough to beat. Let's see what we draw. Snapcaster. Can we bounce Selfless Spirit, snap both the Skyclave? Staying alive. Thank goodness it doesn't have flying. Yeah, they left the vial on one. I mean, if they, I mean, we can't play around a one drop. I think. Yeah, we we can't beat Wanderer. They just messed up. So the selfless spirit mystery card. So I I don't know what their last card is. I think it's probably a brick. Let's see what we draw here. So we could try to brainstorm into a removal spell. Or we can go to Fairy Hero of Dominaria minus on the vial, then bounce the Selfless Spirit and hope that their last card is nothing. I think that their last card's nothing. I think they just drew this land. I think their last card's another land or a vial. Something bad. We break if we break on the Jace, we're just dead. I mean this does play around them like having, of course, another creature. Seems close. Seems close. My my read is that their last card is a land or or you know something similar, like a vile. They're they're what we know they have selfless spirit mystery card. I think I'm gonna go to fairy here. I'm I, I'm not like convinced that this was the right play. Okay, it looks like it worked out though. It's also kind of nice that in two turns they're going to draw an Aether Vial. Hmm. That was probably their draw step for the turn, right? It could be maybe tough to beat, we'll see. Plus this. A lot of wildfires, huh? be a gender reveal party somewhere oh come on not like this not like this okay so we can helix snap helix actually that's a swing that's a swing in the right direction all right so let's go attack with both yeah, attack with both. Just Man of War, thank you for your 14th month reset. I'm just kind of focused. I think I missed it, but I do appreciate you being here. Oh, wait, no, the problem with this is now I don't get to Helix the Skyclave and gain the life. Shoot. I mean, we still get to get their board clear assuming their last card is you know assuming that they drew the selfless spirit for turn right which i think is what we're supposed to infer it's barely found a card that stabilizes us though the teferi plus and brainstorm were to help but wildfire no what oh opponent Opponent, golly. Maybe it was better to wait on the Snap Helix. I think it was good to just gain the three. Maybe not. No, I, I guess I guess the three doesn't matter that much because they just put me on the two. Not a big difference in one and two. Maybe this was bad. Yeah, or at least Helix at them. Yeah, 
Yeah, or Helix on the Subtle Spirit on their upkeep. No, and then kill the Jace. I mean, honestly, I think I'd rather them kill Jace than attack me down to two, maybe. Very tense game. So they're drawing Vile next turn, right? So we like know that they they should have like a land in their hand and then they're drawing a blink. Thinning our deck a bunch too. I guess we bounce the selfless spirit because we can mana leak that on the way down. We can't mana, mana leak the wanderer. Still assuming their last card is a dud. Oh, whoops. Another land. Maybe I should have played the castle, although I'm, I'm using my, I should be using my mana here to force of negation the vial, then mana leak the uh, spirit. They we we tucked a vial with this to fairy a few turns ago. That's how we know they have it. I guess they can uh, trade. Oh, so this was the card they were sandbagging. Wow. Not that it really changes anything. That was just like really disciplined of them to sandbag that. Put me down to two now. So we need to we need to top deck, I guess. We can maybe castle before we to fairy plus if we brick. Okay, did not brick. I think I'm still gonna castle. So we can't quite Jace. Can't quite Jace plus um, Cryptic this turn. So I think we just Cryptic tap their team on their upkeep. And then next turn we can threaten lethal with um, the Bolt on the attack. And also like, oh, we just have lethal with uh, Bounce Snapcaster in the Bolt here. Yeah, so we're going to go bounce tap, I guess. Do you think Fire Ice will have a place in the upcoming modern metagame? I posted a list with uh, with it on Twitter. Uh, specifically, I've got like a blue mid-range controlling deck that plays Shardless Agent and Crashing Footfalls to Cascade into. And then Fire Ice doesn't get Cascaded into by Violent Outburst or Shardless Agent, and so you can use that as cheap interaction, which seems like really, really good in the deck. Especially on the play. So I'm going to show them that they're dead. Because they know I have Snapcaster. They haven't conceded yet, though. Haven't put the uh, two and two together. There they go. Crazy game one. Definitely misplayed by pointing the Helix at uh, the Spirit, but got there. Maybe I'll just bring in two Stone Forges and a Batter Skull. We'll see exactly what I want to cut. Like I want to cut the forces and the leak and the, the logic knot and then bring in the disputes, the path. Kind of not a big fan of all these cryptics either. I do like the type two, so we'll maybe sideboard like this. Tyson Saito, thank you for your uh, subscription. Thank you for being a subscriber. Maybe I could cut two wildfires for the third stone forge and the feast and famine. I think that makes some sense to me. And I'm gonna use the restroom real quick. Be right back. Uh, it's a keepable hand. Thank you for your patience, everybody. It's my favorite card in Image 2 to build around or test out. I don't know if I have a favorite yet. I really, really like a ton of different cards, and I spent all weekend working on decks, but... Yeah, I don't think I'd say that I have a favorite, necessarily. 
Not at the time of making this comment, at least. Cavern is pretty good against us, huh? But yeah, no vial is pretty nice. It's hard for them to not have one or the other. They might still double spell uh, and get got by the dispute. We'll see. So we can maybe path this phantom to try to get to fairy down. That's probably worth it. How many decks have I brewed so far? I have like seven, eight deck lists built, and then I've got like 12 more ish, 11, 12 deck ideas that are like either half built or haven't started yet. I've been like, I've been trying to put a lot, a lot of effort into them, you know, like I, like I always do. I try to like make the lists like as tuned as I possibly can before I start them. So I've really spent a lot of, a lot, a lot of time working on the list I've made. I have posted four of them to Twitter so far. I'll post like two more today. Probably I'm trying to spread it out a bit. Not overload people with information. Oops, all Supreme Phantoms. Thought is your new Urza's deck gonna be playing Thought Monitor? Um, yeah, that's a new card. I haven't put a ton of thought into that one, which has also like been the problem with brewing decks already, is that more like more new cards are being spoiled, and so it's gonna change the list. But I think we have enough cards that even if new cards get spoiled, I can kind of just kind of swap things out from what I've already worked on. Um Oh no, Morland Taunt is so good against us. We slided out some wildfires too. Jeez. Guess we can maybe try to play to snap verdict. Man, Morlanton is so good. Jeez. Maybe I actually do want all the wildfires just because of how good Cavern and Haunt are. So we can maybe just snap Verdict away the tokens here. Feels like a bit of a spew. But then we can we get it to Fairy minus if we do snap the verdict hopefully we can maybe we can get like a lord too first if we don't snap verdict here we can castle i don't have any field of ruins but i have cleansing wildfires <laughs> so maybe i'll just snap verdict now they draw a card, they're not uh, ha haunting. We've got lots of cards that like push our advantage. We have Jaces, Fairy Heroes, Stoneforge Mystics. The fact that they're not haunting is a pretty big game for us. <laughs> okay, well, I was kind of not sure if I wanted to cash it to Fairy to bounce the vial, but but now we definitely are going to. And then we can play another to Fairy in plus. I actually think that that's probably correct too. Advance the you know the loyalty acceleration of this card, whatever. Shark Typhoon, another, another good draw. Forgot to list off earlier. So they're just going to Moreland Haunt, it seems, which is okay. Oh, wow. So now we get to Wildfire the Moreland Haunt and bounce the token. The job. Get me pictures of Spider Man. Get me pictures of Bug Man. I, that, that is one card that I don't think is in any of my brews yet is Grist, but I do think Grist is good. And having kind of a hard time with that one. Oh, awesome. All right, probably going to win. Things look like a little scary for a moment there.
Obviously, the game's not over yet. No, I, I guess I'll just say no to this ability. Keep the Teferi hero. I mean, I, I do want to have both pieces of interaction up. I think this is still fine. Arcane Spike, thank you for your subscription. Arcane Spike. My long lost twin. No, come on! You gotta be kidding me. Although we do have Snapcaster for Wildfire. Made the name for sure watching. Yeah, I was wondering if it was, uh, you know, inspired by a little aspiring spike, but. Is it like a reference to a game or something? I just put back the counter spells. Here's the cool name. Vindicate 17, how are you feeling, Vindicate? You're in modern now. You made it. Bloons Tower Defense 6. <laughs> I, I remember playing a bunch of Bloons like in like computer labs back in school. Is this the best Spectral Sailor of all time? I usually like despise Spectral Sailor. See if they're out of basics. They are out of basics. Good to know. Always weird to see this. Now, I was a bit worried about rattle chains, so I think you want to minus on the vial there. Two and oh, we're five and two on the day. It's pretty good for Just Guy. Opponent's playing Luris. I'm gonna keep the same. Do you like the blue evoke? I think the card's fine, yeah. I don't know if I'm gonna play it in this deck. Kind of have to play with it a bit, see how good it is. My opponent's mold to four, wow. Pretty rare for a Luris deck. I guess they could be boggles. Do you think Jun Death Shadow with the new copy will be good after MH2? Well, Jun Shadow gets a lot of upgrades. Mold of three, they have to be boggles. Uh, it gets a lot of upgrades. It gets the Dragon Raised Channeler, can play Ragavan, and that card's nuts. Can play the new Cascade guy that just got spoiled. I don't know that the new Kavu is going to see play in that deck. Uh, if, if it does see play, it'll probably be a cyborg card, I think. <laughs> Luristron, yeah. I think I've seen, uh, I think I've seen Trellon play Luristron before. Basic planes. Laguna Band Trailblazer and the 2 0 bracket. Let's go, dude. If you want to have some fun right now in, in the modern queues, now is the time to get your fun in. Now is the time to play Laguna Blaze, the Laguna, whatever, Band Trailblazer. I, I can't bolt it. I can't bolt it. But this is the time to play Laguna Bla Band Trailblazer. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to mana leak this. I'll just bounce it to Fairy. Leak better than counter swap. I mean, I'm not going to counter there, though. I do think we've got a good a good heroic matchup. I can't believe they mold the three too. Like how brutal. <laughs> Ooh. Alright, we're still playing opponent. <laughs> Alright, we're still playing. I have a little bit of a techie card in my hand here. A card that, you know, if you're 
if you haven't played like a ton of modern maybe you've never seen it before it's kind of like a fringe playable it's called lightning bolt <laughs> deals three damage to any creature and it's not usually very good but it is good in situations like this all right let me stop the for pitting their second lands here Oh yeah, it can also damage a player, but that that will basically never happen because uh, your opponents start with twenty life. Actually, they start with twenty life, so dealing three damage is usually not going to be very good if you're targeting you know them. I, I've never seen anybody target uh, a player with lightning bolts, so uh, maybe I'll change my description if I ever see that happen. All right, I'm not going to think very hard about sideboarding here. Uh, let's go. <laughs> thoughts on the new 3-2 shadow creature seems busted uh, i mean it just it's like a very vulnerable to removal two mana creature i i, I do not think that card's busted but it, it might be playable especially as a sideboard card how this next mana based uh change to play counter spell so you're gonna play mystic gate i think uh i'm a little i think that you probably need to cut the the basic mountain and maybe also the basic planes and then you could potentially play another hallowed fountain um and then maybe the reflecting pool comes out for the mystic gate maybe the castle of Antris comes out for another mystic gate and then that's kind of what i'm looking at i'm not 100 percent sure how i'll build it yet we could take a moment to to do that actually because i i do think i will play this deck at some point uh but it, i don't think it's going to be one of the first decks i play want to play some of the more exciting stuff you know yeah we talked about the two mana cascade creature that card's fine obviously like it probably won't have cascade on turn two and the cards it cascades into will probably not be that strong either you can also maybe play arc Regis charm all right so three mystic gates i think you probably have to cut the castle probably have to cut the reflecting pool the mountain the basic planes Play Hallowed Fountain for another planes to get. Yeah, so th this is probably what the mana base looks like with Counterspell. And it, it probably works pretty well. Maybe you want a fourth basic island. Not sure how you make room though. Yeah, I think you could probably play Archmage's Charm too if you're already if you're doing this. Probably not four, two or three. All right, I'll keep this. I forgot we're playing against Heroic. Do you think the two CMC Enchantress is enough to push a dedicated Enchantress deck into Modern or not? I uh, will see. Like, I think Enchantress might be fine. The problem is it's like, it has a really, really bad Tron matchup. It probably doesn't have a very good uh, matchup against some aggro decks. Some aggro decks it might beat though. We'll see. We'll see. It's not. It's not really. I think a deck that I'm prioritizing working on. You want Sterling Grove for Doomwake Giant? Well, yeah, you've got to play Doomwake. You got to play Enchantress Doomwake. Surak Dragon Call is some spicy tech. It's a pretty cool card. I've seen people. I've seen people cast Surak Dragon Claw in Modern before, like Team or Twin sideboards. Do I think taxes will be good after MH2? Yeah, I think it'll probably be red-white to get Recruiter. I think it'll be good. Yeah, I, I have some brought back brews that I'm working on. I probably won't play too many of them too soon, but... But yes, yeah, so I, I am working on brought back plus solitude, grief. A few different shells. Yeah, Dean, don't trust the atoms, they make everything. <laughs> Thank you for your 18 month subscription to Dean. Long time. You know, one thing I kind of realized, I guess I'll you know, give you this. Uh, maybe I'll keep it secret, actually. Okay, so it's just like. I've liked main deck Luris and the brought back decks because you want to play Bobble to help your to help enable brought back. And with that being the case, with wanting to, with already wanting to main deck uh, Luris. Uh, Luris is also a black and white card to pitch to Grief and Solitude, which seems like a pretty 
big piece of the puzzle, right? The fact that it's both. It's just been something I've been figuring. Promise thank you for your two month reset, buddy. Lots of resubs today. I can definitely feel the hype around Image 2. I don't think I've ever been this excited before. Yeah, Sculler too. Sculler is also uh, the other white black creature to pitch. And I'm I'm also like kind of maybe thinking about playing the reanimator priest if I end up playing like Karmic Guide in that deck too. We'll see. There's another black white card, but that card doesn't work well at the Fimmer rate. So we'll see. We'll see. I think humans gets better after release. Absolutely. Yeah, humans gets a lot of cards. Uh, Fraun, thank you for your three month three subscription. Any changes to Modern Horizon brings to light control in the works? I mean, that's like the most boring change where like you add the counter spells and probably not too much else changes about the deck. But it's, I think it'll still be good. I think we saw Rakdos Headliner. This card, this card's cool. I don't know if it's good. Like, three, two mana, three, three haste is... It's not... And, and like, but but like, I think you're gonna play it maybe in like a Rakdos discard deck. But I feel like it's also like, it's not your best threat, and it's also not your best discard enabler. And it is both. So I'm not sure if it'll make the cut in constructed. This is a, there's no one is allowed to shame me for light mode. I I prefer light mode over dark mode, basically across the board, and no one's allowed to shame me for it. Could be dead. Could die here. I guess. I'm immune to criticism for my light mode dis choices. Don't shame. I I can shame the shamers. <laughs> <laughs> Just warn you next time your eyes can't take it. <laughs> Fair. You can just declare that for things. Yeah, that's how streaming works. You just get to uh, speak things into existence, and if anybody complains about it, they're just a block of text. They can't actually speak. They can just scream into the void, and no one will hear them. I don't think this is 18. Maybe it's 18. 11, 12, 13. 13. It's not 18. Yeah, you can shame me for shaming the shamers. That's fine. And it's it's pretty meta, too, I guess. What if I click on Prairie Stream here and and uh, don't cast the verdict because I click on Prairie Stream. How many followers do you think I'll lose? Let's find out. Yeah, I think we should cast Supreme Verdict here. Uh, we could Jace, Brainstorm, try to find something else to do, but I just feel like Verdict's the right play. That'll be $5 for your subscription for the uh, uh, A-plus commentary. Let's just cast the verdict there. I think that's the correct line. It, it requires a really big brain to play control and figure out exactly when to hold your supreme verdict, when to cast it. It's like not always obvious. And so you can uh, follow my Twitch channel and rely on my expertise. And I'll tell you when to cast the verdict. And it only will cost you $5 a month. I've been watching your channel since back when MH1 released. Awesome. Single-handedly responsible keeping you interested. That's awesome as well. I'm glad that you're liking the stream. I'm gonna try to try to be better than I've ever been when Modern Horizons 2 comes out. Is my goal. My goal is to be better than I've ever been. Or at least like on par. I think I'm gonna brainstorm here. Everything about the reprint of Lab. I think it's like really good reprint. Um, like it, it makes a lot of re sense to me to reprint uh, Riptide Laboratory since now in your blue decks you want to play Counterspell. Riptide Lab doesn't cast Counterspell. And uh, there's like definitely deck building tension there. And I, I think that when you have multiple powerful cards for an archetype, 
in a format and then that don't necessarily work well together and you need to pick different directions that is like good design for the format you know but yeah maybe like when, when like powerful cards for an archetype don't always work well together and i i think that's like usually pretty good design to give your players options with deck building rather than just like obviously here's the best control deck you play riptide lab and all this stuff cool really happy we drew a cheap removal spell let me actually just bolt the giver and then minus to fairy on luris i think Four counter spell, four charm, four lab, sure. <laughs> it's not untap a wizard, it returns the wizard to your hand. So it returns spell setter sprite, snapcaster mage, vincer to your hand, which is pretty powerful. It doesn't untap, it bounces to your hand. You get the ETB again. So uh, you might see me play Riptide Laboratory in some Aether Vial decks that could uh, be potentially the best home for the card. I'm gonna get a mountain actually. Since they spoiled the wizard cycling card, all I've been looking at are modern legal wizards. The card's really cool. I, I don't think that the wizard cycler is gonna make it in constructed, unfortunately. But here's hoping, I guess. Dude, look at this. 3060. Nobody, so nobody, anybody who's just coming in, every deck we've played against this league has been super competitive. It's all been tier one decks. Uh, uh nothing nothing like uh let's just pick a crazy example like heroic nobody's played any like just like lagona ban trailblazer on turn one after a mold of three nothing like nothing like that been a really tough league but we've emerged 3060 let's hopefully we can get a trophy uh but i don't actually control what goes on the youtube i have an editor who uh who handles the whole YouTube for me, so I can just focus on building decks and streaming. Um, and Gloom does a great job at it too. Been doing a really good job for a long time now. But glad that you're able to catch me live. You mentioned Solitude for the Jeskai deck or something else. Uh, uh, I don't know. I don't. I think that you Solitude in this deck may be more of a sideboard card than a mainboard card. Um, I'll have to play with it, but I think that I'm a bit more interested in sideboarding it in the stack. Looks like uh, Belcher here, and then I might I might main deck some subtlety over as well. We'll see about that as well. I I'm I am planning on playing Prismatic End. I think Prismatic End is a really good card, um, and I I'm gonna try to play Counterspell in this deck as well. We'll see. Yeah, Tybalt's ultimate is crazy, Steven's voice. I played FNM in paper this weekend too, and it was the first time I had, you know, played Tybalt in paper, and that card is like impossible to manage. Well, their Teferi is a bit better than mine, huh? Yeah, Counterspell's gonna be tough to play. Like, maybe you like just abandon the wildfire plan, but I hope that you don't. I really like it. I, I hope that you don't have to abandon the plan. But maybe you do, and maybe it's not that big a deal. But uh, I'm going to try to make it work by playing Mystic Gate. I think Mystic Gate probably gives you the ability to cast Counterspell. I think Wonder can make its way into Dredge. Hmm. Well, Dredge isn't already... Like, Dredge's mana is going to be stretched kind of thin if it plays Wonder, because you need an island. Um, and so maybe that was a little more reasonable before you had... Uh, they got Disrupting Shoal and Pieces of the Puzzle. What? So we get to bolt this, which is nice. But is it better to play Jace? 
I think so, because we're not doing anything else with our mana if we bolt the Teferi here. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, it's just like getting the island to play for Wonder has a pretty high cost, but it could be fine. We'll see. Need like a sideboard card if flying really matters. Now our opponent's playing. I'm assuming they're playing Belcher, uh, or um, there's there's also there's also a, it's a four mana sorcery that exiles all lands from your library or something like that. Or if it does it does that if if you if it does something. I don't I don't. It's it, it lets you it lets you win with Thassa's Oracle. But I can't remember the name of the card. But I know I know the art is like Jace, but he his face is all illusioned up and gone. I think I'm gonna brainstorm before shuffling. I'm not a hundred percent sure I want to do that this way. Kind of bricked off. Oops, all to fairy heroes, huh? Yeah, selective memory. Search your library for any number of non land cards and exile them, then shuffle your library. Yes. And so we can play around that card plus untap land plus Thassa's Oracle because they'll still have that one card in their library. They'll, they'll have the selective memory in their graveyard, and then we can. Oh no, they'll just exile their whole library. Yeah, I guess removal doesn't uh, stop them, but they, they don't have the. Uh, they don't have the combo this turn. Oh yeah, Wander does seem pretty good in Crabvine, I agree. How would I feel about Charlotte's Bug with the Voidwalker? I mean, I don't... The Voidwalker might be, like, an okay main deck card, but... I don't know, it just doesn't seem, like, that much better than, like, a lot of other two drops. Oh, bummer. Yeah, they're, they're, I think there are a lot of two drops that, like, that card is not better than... And if you're gonna play it as your threat in your deck, you have to you kinda of have to think this is your best two drop for this slot. Or like second best, you know. Okay, force is a great pickup. So we can go to fairy hero minus shuffle away two lands, I guess. Maybe I should have kept uh the flagstones over like the path. Wildfire Stone Rain, yeah, but Stone Rain doesn't matter as much as getting to Fairy off the field here. But it is Stone Rain in this matchup, so this is a very, very good matchup. Stop. Maybe I should. Maybe for the first day I play Counterspell, I can paint my hand gold like the Mystical Archive Counterspell. What do you guys think about that idea? I think it's pretty good. I might do that. Let me actually take a look at it, see like Yeah, so paint my hand to look like this. Oh. Yeah. That could work. That could work. Just crazy enough to work. Just be careful with the paint, that's all I'm saying. Is it like, what's well, like, unless you're gonna like lick my hand afterwards, but how am I gonna like get clean if I don't lick my hand? I just, I just think I, I, just, I think I'll just risk it. I think it'll be okay. I mean, and then also the paint is like really tasty, so like you lose out on some value there as well. I don't know, if they didn't want you to like lick the paint, like maybe they shouldn't make it as delicious as they do. Whatever, they can make it however, I mean, I'm not going to stop eating it, so. I'm not going to stop eating the paints. I guess we're, we're going to be able to win the fight over Oracle, let's let this resolve. Cosplay is the red counterspell wizard, maybe. 
I've got a few different ideas. Like I, I usually like to dress up for the first set release, and I've got a, I've got an idea of what I want to do for uh, day one at least, especially because I might not play a counterspell deck day one. We'll see. We'll see. When's the last time I lost with JTMS and five minutes of fairy on the battlefield? I know I've done it. I don't know when though. In before cavern. Oh my gosh. Well, they don't play cavern. They can't play cavern. It doesn't work with selective memory. Seems risky to let them do this. Yeah, they just can't cavern. Yeah, this is not legacy. It's fine. They also only have one blue mana. It's fine. It's also not doomsday. They can't stack their deck. Oh, they, they can't. Well, they they could they shuffle. So we get to bounce there. No, nah, I don't think we need to. We'll be fine. There's literally zero chance. Literally zero chance. <laughs> this could go wrong. Ahmed, nine months. Congratulations to our sub baby, yes. Congratulations to you for subscribing to the channel. Nine Did I know once you wanted to print Doomsday into Modern? Hmm. I mean, it's like way less powerful with Modern than a Legacy, right? There's no Lotus Petal, there's no Dark Ritual, there's no Brainstorm. Still probably really good. Crap, thank you for your 4.3 sub, buddy. Appreciate you. Yeah, with no Dark Ritual, Doomsday, Necropotence just don't seem that good. They seem fine. Uh, let's bring in the Mystics and the Feast and Famages. I think just two, two, one. Maybe, maybe, maybe we'll have so many removal spells to cut that we'll end up playing more, but I mean, Tails in and Dispute are both really good against them. I guess we don't want the Verdict. Uh, okay, I guess we could, we'll just bring in the rest of the Stoneforge package. Wildfire is also like S tier against them. Hmm. This hand kind of sucks. Mold. Hands way better. So we'll keep. Uh, put back second mana leak. Their deck probably plays one cavern on the side. Well, the, 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 the cavern, cavern makes their whole deck not work, right? Because they need they need their whole deck, all their lands to be MDFCs. So if they have a cavern in their deck, their selective memory just doesn't function the way they want it to. All right, I'll cast the S tier, Cleansing Wildfire. I mean, they, maybe they board it in the basic. Sometimes these decks do that. I, I also am not a huge fan of that. You know, I mean, it worked out for them here. It's just like, if your opponent doesn't path or wildfire you, you're like, deck just doesn't work, you know? Whatever. They got me. Hmm. Definitely countering, just not sure which counter spell. Morning, Dalton. Or it's afternoon, Dalton. I'm going to have to issue you a uh, formal warning for wishing me a uh, good morning after 12 p.m. Disrupting Shoal? Golly. I mean, we do have Teferi Hero, thankfully, but that was good. That was a good draw, too. Let's see if they have another uh, zero mana counter, I guess. Why doesn't it work? They exile everything but the cavern. Okay, I guess I need to reread this. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, why don't they play cavern? Yeah, yeah, you're right. They should play Cavern. I don't, I don't know why they wouldn't. Huh. 
Yeah, you're you're absolutely right. Yeah, it doesn't work with the Belcher, but you know, it still seems pretty good. Surely they didn't bring in two basics, right? All right, I'll easily accept this disrupting shoal. Pitching another shoal. So he tails in the Thassa's Oracle ETB. He has a cyborg plan on the main. Yeah, I mean, maybe in the main is good, but at least in the cyborg plan, that makes a lot of sense. It's just not something I realized worked. Yeah, huge point for tails in here. Don't, I mean, I probably could maybe win if they have exactly Counterspell plus Oracle as their two cards next turn, which is doable. But they might, they might if they have Cavern, they might keep Cavern and Oracle as the two cards. Why show over force so they could protect their combo? You can't force a negation on your turn. They could just leave in multiple oracles. Yeah, they could. Yep. Hello, Baco. Thank you for your Twitch Prime subscription, buddy. Appreciate you. Very untap land Oracle wins. Well, they can't have that next turn. They only have one card in their hand at the moment. I wonder if Riptide Lab is too late to the party to be good. Maybe a bit. I'm going to try it maybe in some Aether Vial shells. We'll see. Seems like really good in like the Spell Starter Sprite Ephemerate deck that I was working on. That deck might be dead. We'll see. Play Taff, down tick to draw untap land. Well, I'll just tails on the Teferi. I have to tails on the Teferi. Guess I'm gonna castle. Guess I should scry shuffle first. Uh, probably shouldn't have top topped. Whatever. They only put one card in their. They only. They, they only have one card in their library. Oh, this is actually really bad. If this like just loses to dispute for no reason, jeez. Yeah, this just like loses to dispute for no reason. What am I doing? This is GG. Oh. Well. I think we misplayed that turn, but uh, we are 4080. We played only against tier one decks this week too. <laughs> we definitely did not play against Heroic and uh, Doomsday. Their deck's definitely cool. I like their deck. All right, let's uh, get a trophy prediction going. Uh, I think we keep this on, uh, on the draw on the blind. Hmm. Zombie? Man, only tier one decks, dude. Only tier one decks today. Hmm. By Path the Wanderer? I don't think so. I think I want to path my Snapcaster. Oh. Again, why so fortunate in the Slimer? Okay, so I, I just said it, but I was muted. I'll talk about it again. So in Jeskai Control, you have a lot of dead cards in various matchups, right? You have your dead removal spells against a lot of decks, and, and you have your dead counter spells against decks like our opponents here with Cavern Vile. And so if you have a package like the Stoneforge Mystic package, you can cut your dead cards no matter what, and uh, that way make sure that you just don't have terrible cards no matter what the matchup is. Um, that being said... Uh, and, and sorry, and I and I've, I found uh, I found that also it's true. Uh, I guess we let this resolve, right? I've also found that it's true that um, if you don't play Jeskai with that kind of package, because this deck plays just so many cheap burn spells, 
if you don't have something like that, you really do. You really are going to have like to leave in lightning bolts against decks like Tron and stuff, which I don't really want to do. Um, and uh, it's also true that Stoneforge Mystic is better in sideboard games than in game ones in general. Um, the card is... People are going to board out their removal against you, you know? Maybe we'll just die without playing a spell this game. Can't beat the zombie menace. Well, if the snapcaster can snap the path and ramp us into the four, four mana spell. Weird stream today. We're at big draw step. All right, guys, I think we're going to have to uh, win our sideboard games. I definitely going to have to win our sideboard games. Not quite 0% yet. All right, let's get in the sideboard games, chat. Could the Stormforce back as package be a consideration as part of a splash in blue black reanimator? Maybe like it could like I have been thinking with that blue black reanimator deck I posted that a transformative cyborg seems like something you're pretty interested in. Just kind of like how Twin took out the combo, just board out your uh, guys, and then you're maybe just like way better in cyborg games. Uh, I'm not sure though. I haven't uh, thought about it. I, I haven't built uh, like any cyborgs. I'm just trying to get main decks together. Since like cyborgs for new brews are like usually just very difficult to have like a great cyborg together day one of a f new format. All right, I like this hand. Hmm, I mean typhoons maybe okay against them. It's a bit slow. I don't know exactly what their build looks like. Like whenever I build zombies, I wasn't playing Dread Wanderer. I mean, I've played Dread Wanderer before uh, in zombies, but I've never really found it to be that good. Hmm. Yeah, your deck building is definitely. 75 not 60 plus 15 although like when you're brewing in a new format it's usually more like 60 plus 15 to be to be honest but oh wow double thought sees maybe i'll path my own stone forge we'll see yeah i think i'll do that and i'll, I'll just also do that main phase play around a uh removal spell just lose the game if they have one If, if, if I lose, you get to redeem the million channel points. That's crazy. Wait, no, I... Hold on. I clicked... I thought I clicked on Mountain again. Are you kidding me? I, I thought I clicked on Mountain. This is... A, again, this has happened where I've clicked on the wrong land. I might... It must be the border of these cards. It has to be what it is. I just have to verdict, too. This is so this is so disappointing. Oh, I can't believe it. No. <sighs> Million channel points. I can't believe it. I moved the mouse at the last second. I believe it. It's like it just keeps happening today. I don't know. Sorry, believers. Jeez, zombies crushing us. What the hell? It's so weird. Alright, Nob, we have the first person to 